Okay, let's uh, make a start. I'm Malcolm Wright. I'm Chief Exec of uh, NHS Grampian and absolutely delighted to be here today and, and to welcome you to the family of, of NHS Grampian. We're really, really pleased that you've, you've chosen to come and, and work and take forward your careers in, in NHS Grampian. And, and just say thank you to Nick as well for organising and, and helping to organise all of this. And I think the whole notion of bringing together senior colleagues from across the region at an early stage in, in their careers and working out with us in, in, in management about how we're going to work together and how we're going to make this a really good place to live and learn and, and build a career. Um, so this is the first one uh, that, we, that we've had. And I think what I'd like to say is that I think NHS Grampian, you know, it, we're in a time of real kind of opportunity and a real time of, of change. I think Grampian is uniquely positioned within NHS Scotland. And I think there's every reason that we can be one of the top performing healthcare systems in Scotland. I mean, the very site that we're on, Forrester Hill, there is no other health board in the country that's got a single tertiary teaching site. Um, you know, Edinburgh split up, um, Glasgow is split up, so having having a single tertiary teaching site together with the university on site, with a, I think, is a huge opportunity. I think we've also got a great opportunity of having two world-class universities working with us. And I think one of the things we want to do as a board is to get closer to Aberdeen University and closer to Robert Gordon's university. And you may have seen in the press yesterday and today, you know, just some of the outcomes from some closer working at Robert Gordon's in terms of the return to practice programs we've seen in nursing. And I think similarly, we're looking for every opportunity we can get to work with, Robert, uh, work with Aberdeen University, looking at opportunities for teaching and training and research and academic work and, and, and so forth. So having two world-class universities working with us, I think, is, is a real uh, strength. And I used the, the words at the beginning, you know, welcome to the family of NHS Grampian, because I think, I think it is a family. I think we are a team of people striving to do our best for, for patients and get the very best outcomes that we, that we can. <clears throat> so I think we've got an awful lot going for us. I think, you know, <coughs> where we can and are uh, united, you know, looking at the board, looking at clinicians, looking at managers, I think there is a common purpose to get the very best outcomes for, for patients and to really reinforce our position as one of Scotland's best performing um, health boards. And I think some of the changes we've seen uh, in the last 12 months have been quite uh, remarkable uh, and transformational. So that's probably enough from me. Um, I just want to say welcome. You know, I'm absolutely delighted that you're, you're here and I very much look forward uh, to working with you over the weeks and months and, and years to, to come. And I, you know, I think by working together we can achieve some fantastic things for our patients and, and our resident population. So a very warm welcome. And I hope that today there's going to be lots of conversation, lots of interactions, lots of exploration of how we can uh, work together. So I think that's probably enough from me. So thank you very much indeed and, and welcome. <laughs> So thanks very much, Malcolm. Um, so I'm not really going to do a lot of sort of formal stuff. Ready? Today is um, a chance for you to ask people questions, get a bit of energy going, challenge people. There's going to be lots of opportunity for that. And, and I'm just delighted you're here. So, but I'm going to start with a quiz. OK? So what's the biggest investment in the last five years that NHS Grampian has made on this um, site? OK, who's going to answer that? Might have been... Sorry? Emergency care centre. OK, how much was the emergency care centre? Uh, oh. <laughs> OK, a lot of money. OK, so 110 million. OK, the other thing is it's not the emergency care centre. It's the Matthew Hay Centre, isn't it? OK, so that's really important. There's a bit of history to that. But actually, it's the wrong answer. Because um, the right answer is you guys. Over £100 million has been invested in this room. That's what we've invested. Um, in the people just in this room in their careers to work for NHS Grampian. This year, we've brought in around 75 or so consultants and, and GPs, and that investment, it's about £3 million is the investment per consultant that we put in to look after things. So this is an incredibly valuable investment. You're our biggest and most valuable asset, and therefore we've got to sit down together and make sure right from the beginning that we get going and working together. 
Right, so I, I'm not really going to say very much. The key thing is asking questions, having a chat, getting to meet people. I mean, what I'm really embarrassed about is that I sort of need to introduce myself because I should know you all. And also, as I look around, I realise there's lots of people I just don't know. And that's a really you know, um, reflective thing for me to think about of why that is the case. And that's why we started this thing. So we're going to get Anne to give you a lowdown on how we're going to go. It's going to be a bit of a steeplechase, a bit of a huddle. But the key thing is ask questions, um, have a chat, and you'll learn a great deal. And then this afternoon we've got um, quite a bit of detail which we'll go into more about the medical directorate and that sort of thing, and you hear a bit from me. But the key thing is just enjoy the day. We'll keep the coffee flowing and keep the chat going. Thank you. So once we finish the um, round the table, we will then have a, a kind of plenary discussion um, with a number of people, um, just so that we can pick up any other issues, points, comments um, that you want to share with us. Um, and then there'll be lunch. So there will be a coffee break this morning, um, and then there'll be lunch before you go into your afternoon session. Okay, so I think we'll just get started. Is everybody at the right table, or do people need to move to get to their... Thank you. 